close your eyes and watch your breath. In other words, notice where you feel the breath. When it comes in, where do you feel it? When it goes out, where do you feel it? You might feel it to the nose, you might feel the rise and fall of the chest, or the rise and fall of your stomach. Anywhere you notice the sensations that tell you now the breath is coming in, now it's going out. Stay with those sensations. And try to resist the temptation to go wandering off and taking note of other things. Sounds outside, thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future. Just let them be. Sometimes we think that they're disturbing us, but really your mind is disturbing them. It's going out and making comments on them all the time, but it doesn't have to. You can just stay right here with the breath. The sound comes, the sound goes. You know it's there, but you don't have to get involved. This is called training the mind. You're going against some old habits, but that's important to learn how to do that. Because if we just follow our own old habits, we never develop. We stay as children. The way we grow up is when we learn that certain habits are not not wise or not helpful anymore, not skillful anymore. And we learn alternative habits to take and to use in their place. So right now we're learning how to develop concentration as a good habit for finding well-being for the mind. So all the Buddhist teachings are about training the mind. As he once said, the sign of a wise person is realizing that you need to train the mind. And training the mind really does bring happiness. The sign of a fool is someone who feels he doesn't have to train his mind, he just goes out looking for happiness and things outside. Not realizing that the question of whether you're going to be happy or not really resides with the mind. Because conditions around you can be perfectly fine and you're still not happy. Other times when conditions around you are really bad and yet for some reason the mind is perfectly fine. It shows that the state of your mind is the important thing and not the conditions around you. But you don't want that state of the mind to be random. You want to be able to access a sense of well-being whenever you need it, which is all the time. This is why we train the mind to stay with one thing for the time being. This is not the total technique of the path, but it is an important step. It is an important skill to learn how to keep your mind with one thing. And that one way of keeping it with the breath is to let the breath be comfortable. Notice how the, what kind of breathing feels really good right now. Training the mind doesn't have to always be rough. You don't always have to yank it around on a leash. You can give it some good, comfortable sensations inside the body. As you breathe in, breathe out, think of the breath filling the whole body. And then it becomes a really nice place to stay, right here in the present. That makes it a lot easier to stay here and to settle in. So use a little discernment in making it easy for you to settle down. This way, as you train the mind, you find that once it's trained, it really does bring happiness. You can choose where you want to focus it, where you don't want to focus it. When you want to think, you can think. When you don't need to think, you can stop thinking. Or when your thinking is going off in the wrong direction, you can direct it in a new way. That's what it means to have a mind that's well-trained. When you see the need for that, that's when you begin to be wise. And when you develop that training, okay, that's when you really are wise. So try to develop some wisdom in your life. Don't let your mind just be full of information. Let it have some wisdom running the show. You'll find that you benefit and the people around you benefit as well.